Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ, friends of the Oblate de Macedonian family. Welcome to the final day of our Novena of Prayer for Oblate Vocations. On this last day of our Novena of Prayer, we pray especially for those young men and women who are discerning their vocations in life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. And now, friends, we listen this reading, and it's taken from St. Paul to the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came among you, it was not to preach myself, but Jesus Christ. I did not come proclaiming God's words with any particular eloquence. I was determined to speak only of Jesus Christ and Him crucified. As a consequence, your faith rests not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. For the cross of Christ is a stumbling block to the Jews, an absurdity for the Greeks, but to those who are called, the cross is the wisdom and the power of God. Our second reading from our Oblate Rule, the cross of Jesus Christ is central to our mission. Like the Apostle Paul, we preach Christ and Him crucified. If we bear in our body the death of Jesus, it is with the hope that the life of Jesus too may be seen in our body. Through eyes of our crucified Savior, desiring that those in whom He continues to suffer will know also the power of His resurrection. And we pray, Holy Father, we come to you because Jesus asks us to pray to you to send workers into your harvest. Therefore send us generous men and women, passionate for Christ, willing to make of their whole life a total oblation to you to become close to the poorest and most abandoned, and to proclaim the gospel. May they burn with the same fire that you enkindle in St. Eugene. May they come to be part of this family, and with all the oblates, may they continue the work of redemption. Mary, who first gave Jesus to the world, be with us as we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Eugene de Mazenod, pray for us. Blessed Joseph Gerard, pray for us. Blessed Joseph Sebola, pray for us. Blessed Oblate Martyrs of Spain, pray for us. Blessed Oblate Martyrs of Laos, pray for us. Praised be Jesus Christ and Mary Immaculate. Thank you very much indeed, my dear sisters and brothers in Christ, for joining us and for praying with us the Novena of Prayer for Oblate Vocations. It is the Lord Jesus himself who said, The harvest is great, but the laborers are few. Pray therefore to the Master of the Harvest to send laborers to his vineyard. 
as we conclude our novena of prayer today on this feast of Blessed Joseph Gerard, our Oblate Missionary Apostle in Lesotho, in Africa. We continue to invoke the intercessions and prayers of all our Oblate Saints to pray for us for the vocations of in our congregation. Thank you, each and every one. May God bless us all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.